Hey everybody! <clears throat> Ooh, hi! <laughs> welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what up squad? So, Twin Flame Collective. I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. This is my second attempt at doing this video. I started and things were okay, I guess. Um, but then when I started getting into the cards, things just got weird. Things, something didn't feel right. There's a good amount of interference today. Not sure why. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's weird. But anyway, um, so welcome. I'm going to do my best to stay clear and connected. I mean, the divine is telling me that my connection is strong strong enough anyway. It's just there, there's a, quite a bit of interference. And I, I, I was shuffling, and there were some messages that came through um, that I'm going to try and repeat for you guys. Um, but by the time I got into the card, something just didn't feel right. So I had to stop. And so I was thinking of just redoing, of like using the intro from the last one and like splicing them together or whatnot. But I think I'm just going to start all over um, and do this again. So... Uh, the first thing that I wanted to mention to you guys was that there were a bunch of dragonflies flying out my window this morning while I was getting dressed, and it was one of the coolest things ever. Dragonflies are one of my favorite insects. Um, they're all about, well, I, I want to read this to you because I picked it up, I pulled it up, but um, it thought, fell very much in line with what I've been feeling, what a lot of us have been feeling from the Divine Masculine Collective. Um, but also what the Divine Feminine has been going through as well. So the dragonfly in almost every part of the world symbolizes change and change in the perspective of self-realization and the kind of change that has its source in mental and emotional maturity and the understanding of the deeper meaning of life. So I thought that was really cool and I hadn't really noticed it until today when I'm now doing this reading for the Twin Flame Collective. So it felt very poignant. Yeah. Um... The Divine Masculine was heavily on my mind this morning. Um, it, I just kept hearing Divine Masculine, Divine Masculine in my head. And um, 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 I, I, I was trying to figure out what that was. Um, and for, for the most part, the Divine Masculine really wants to talk, really wants to communicate, really wants to come forward. It has a lot to say, to be honest, which is good. Um, and Divine Masculine, you know, especially for those of us who are not, you know, speaking to our twins or whatnot, um, I know, yeah, I'm going to speak for the Divine Feminine Collective and just be like, hey, we're ready to talk when you are, you know, we're here, we love you, so you don't have to worry about that, so whenever you're ready, you know, come forward, um, but also, what, what what's coming through, I, I really feel like a lot of the message that, messages that are going to come through today are for the Divine Masculine, mostly, because mo there are a lot of them that are awakening, um, a very good friend, my best friend, um, on the journey has been doing readings for a lot of awakened divine masculines lately, and that's really, really good. Um, so I really do feel like most of the message, messages that are going to come through today are mostly for um, guidance for the divine masculine and understanding what's really going on. Um, so if you're a divine masculine and you're watching, welcome. <laughs> thank you for checking this out. Um, thank you for being open enough to look into this, maybe get some clarity. You might have been getting some readings lately. I just picked up on that. There may be some of you that have been getting readings lately and it's kind of been blowing your mind. Um, so now you're more in tune with it. Um, you're more open to, <clears throat> you're, more, ooh, you're more, oh, more open to a lot of these things. Um, for those of us that are doing readings and when you're getting into <laughs> the, geez, my, there's like a fro frog in my throat. When you're getting into the readings and um, you're reading for the Divine Masculine and your throat clog closes up, that's because... Sorry, I'm just... Whoa. Destroying things in my room. <laughs> that's just reaching for my coffee. Um, that's because you're picking up on the Divine Masculine's desire and need to communicate. Um, so that's why. There's that. Um, things that I want to mention, uh, as I was channeling earlier, uh, I saw, for the Divine Masculine, I saw t the Tower, which means that you're either in a tower moment, you've been experiencing a tower moment, you're coming out of the a tower moment, you're feeling residual energies from a tower moment, and that's okay. For the most part, a lot of you are becoming 444 on the calendar, woo! A lot of you are becoming more comfortable and understanding of why these things are happening, and you're becoming more um, appreciative of it, to be honest, because you're starting to realize that the universe is only 
doing these things is only destroying these things in your life because they are not healthy and they're not ultimately going to get you where you really want to go. Um, you're no longer resentful about it for the most part. Um, you no longer feel like the universe is against you where in, when in fact the universe is actually one of your best friends. Your best friend other than yourself and source. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the universe has got your back. For the Divine Feminine, I saw the Ace of Cups. Um, and that was... Um, that was, if you hear anything in the background, that's just my roommate. Hey. Um, but anyway, uh, the Ace of Cups, and for the Divine Feminine, that was unconditional love and unconditional self love. Um, not just for your Divine Masculine, even though you still are holding that, but it's also for yourself and it's radiating like crazy. People around you are seeing it, they're feeling, feeling it, they're noticing it, and, they're, and it's influencing them. They're noticing a change in you, which ultimately is, is generating an awareness of either wanting or needing to change or a change in themselves too. So continue radiating that, yeah? Drink to that one. It's just coffee, don't worry. <laughs> I have a long day of readings ahead of me, guys. But I'm starting with the twins. So let's get into this, yeah? <laughs> Mirror reading. Round two. <laughs> um, we've got the deck on the left, which is going to symbolize the divine masculine. The deck on the right, which is going to symbolize the divine feminine. We're ending, we're, we're going to do, not ending actually, we're going to do a relationship spread from the uh, animal spirit deck. And then there's also a message that's wanting to come through or spirit wants to bring some messages through uh, with the whispers of love. So I'm going to finish with that one this week. Yeah. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you want a specific view into your, your personal situation, you can always email me. I am available for personal readings. You really don't have to tell me much. I've gotten really good at just channeling the energies and telling you what spirit needs you to know, wants you to know. Um, uh, this is a mirror reading, so we're going to be looking at the balance between masculine and feminine energies. You can, you're, I encourage you 100% to to work on viewing this as an in, as insight into the internal balance of masculine and feminine energies within you. Yeah. Also, these readings are not time sensitive. Even though I'm doing them weekly, you whenever you stumble upon them. Um, and they resonate with you, that's just Spirit's way of getting you the right messages at the right time. Yes? Finally, I am not doing um, twins in union or in separation. This is just general messages for the collective. Okay, so if you have been guided to my channel or at least just to this specific video, um, there's most likely a message in it for you, whether you're in separation or not. Yeah? So, with all that said, whew, let's get into it, yeah? Round two. <laughs> All right. Everybody, take a deep breath. Let's connect. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for the Twin Flame Collective. Please bring forward the best messages for the Twin Flames to serve the highest good of everyone involved at this time. Please give us an accurate representation of the energies of the Divine Masculine, represented by the deck on the left, and the energies of the Divine Feminine, represented by the deck on the right. And please help us understand how they are interacting with each other individually and collectively and as Divine Twin Flames. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So, let's get into this, shall we? Shuffling for the Divine Masculine. Yep, there's that tower again. Alright, cool. But you're really, you're really just getting in tune with it. You're getting in touch with it. You're understanding why these tower moments have been happening consistently like it's gotten to a point divine masculine where you can almost predict when <laughs> when your next tower moment is coming and that's mainly because logic because you're looking at things logically logically and you're seeing the cycle in front of your eyes and so you're and so you're kind of looking at how things are going and you can just be like oh damn here it comes again but you know what it's okay because awareness is the first way that you will break this cycle right Right. You got it. You got it. All right. I'm going to give you two more shuffles, Divine Masculine. And then... Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine. Boop. 
Okay. Cool. Let's cut the deck. Boop. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Divine Masculine, your energies are set. Divine Feminine, you are next. Yeah, and I'm seeing the Ace of Cups again. Um, so like I said, unconditional love for yourself, for your Divine Masculine. Um, yeah, yeah. There were some flyers that came out when I was shuffling the first time, um, and spirits wanted me to repeat this message. It, what came out was the... Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups in reverse was underneath the deck. And that was talking about the Divine Mass, I'm sorry, the Divine Feminine. That was talking about the Divine Feminine really focusing on her material existence. A lot of the Divine Feminines could be stepping out on a new path um, entrepreneurially, business wise, um, really stepping into your spiritual mission. And the Ace of Cups in reverse was you not offering any sort of cup of love to someone that isn't your divine masculine, for the most part. Um, or not accepting anything from anyone that really isn't your divine masculine. And it's not, it's not an ego thing. It's not a spiteful thing. It's really just the divine feminine understanding who her true love is, who her true count counterpart is, and just wanting to focus on building towards that. And not really um, giving anybody a false sense of hope in the fact that now, you know, you're starting something with someone else when you're just filling your sp the space for the Divine Masculine. Instead of doing that, you're more focused on yourself, you know, your mission, setting the stage for you and your twin to do the damn thing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I just saw six. Yes. So six being the number of uh, harmony and in the family and the home life. So six is an energetic vibration around you right now, Divine Feminine, because you're very much um, focused on your home, your family. And if you don't have that quite yet, you're focused on what you need to do to build that, right? Awesome. One more shuffle for the Divine Feminine. And yeah, and now I'm seeing yellow come through. So willpower. Action. Wisdom. Very, very good. Okay, great. Boop. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Divine Feminine, your energy is starting off. Aha. All right. Nine of Swords in reverse. Excellent. This is the release of anxiety. The release of obsessiveness, too, is what I'm hearing. So for those of you that are pretty new to the journey, you may have been in this Nine of Swords energy for quite some time. Or at least if it hasn't been for a long time, it's been heavy, heavy, heavy. And let me tell you, a lot of us that have been on this journey for a long time, not a lot of us, all of us, we get it, okay? But collectively, there is a mass release of this sort of obsessive, um, overindulgent is what I'm getting to with the Nine of Swords. Um, there is a release of this stuff. There is a release of stalker-like energy, too. I mean, this isn't the Page of Swords, but it's that energy of constantly wanting to know or needing to know or feeling like you need to, need to know what your Divine Masculine is up to is what generates this Nine of Swords energy, this sleepless nights, anxiety, nightmares, daymares, whatever. Yeah? So good. That That's... Very good. We've got, yeah, look at that. We've got the devil in reverse. Okay. Uh, but we do have the page of swords here. We also have the page of cups. Okay. All right, cool. So what's happening here, the, the divine masculine is coming through in your reading. This is the energy. The, there are energies of the divine masculine here, and that's mainly with the page of swords and the page of cups. The devil is in reverse, right? So Divine Feminine, you're releasing this attachment, this codependency, this needing to know what your Divine Masculine is going through or doing. Um, 
Um, you're also releasing the paradigm of three-dimensional relationships, which is what I just heard. But as you do that, Divine Feminine, now the Divine Masculine is starting to move into that energy where he wants to know what you're doing, wh where you're going, who you're talking to. Are you dating anybody? Are you, like, are you hooking up with anybody? Like, what are you doing? And for the most part, that's because the Divine Masculine most likely has cut off communication with you and so now that you're kind of in this period of detaching and you probably have been detached for a long time or at least a good amount of time, now the energy is shifting where the divine masculine wants to know what you're doing and is starting to want to offer a cup of love to you. So, okay. And that's not bad. It's really not bad. Uh, to be honest, the pendulum needs to swing and swing back and forth until the energy is released and it can settle in the center, right? So that's kind of what we're experiencing right now. We're experiencing the swing in the other direction. Cool, man, cool. Let's get into the storyline here for you, Divine Feminine. Starting off with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Excellent. So this is the release of feeling left out in the cold and of feeling unworthy, okay? Um, yeah, the Divine Feminine is really starting to understand her worth. And please understand, when I say him or her, I'm just talking about the energies. I'm not talking about gender, okay? The Five of Pentacles is, oh, yes, is coupled with the Six of Wands upright. So hello, Divine Feminine. Looks like you found your worth. Looks like you know exactly who you are and what you're meant for. And you are feeling very proud of yourself. You're feeling very accomplished. This is great because honestly, this has been um, this has been something that's really been plaguing the divine feminine for some time, a lack of self worth, and that's where all that obsessive energy comes from, right? So this is good. I am being guided to caution some people against letting your ego run away with you with this six of wands here, but ultimately, this is this is very very good. And I see, and yeah, and I'm also picking up energies of a leadership role because you see how these people are like kind of bowing to them, showing quite a bit of reverence to this person. Often this card means taking a victory lap, but here in this situation, I'm picking up that a lot of the divine feminines are really starting to step into their leadership role, which is great, which is really great. Okay, moving forward. We've got, okay, the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands came out in reverse the first time I tried this, all right? Ace of Wands in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting, 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 interesting. This is a release of... <laughs> yeah, okay. This is a release of energies of of new starts that don't serve you, ultimately do not serve you. There could be a lot of people that are coming around or uh, some people that are trying to start something new with you, Divine Feminine. And like I said before, if it's not with your Divine Masculine, you're really just not interested. And understand that, look, this is falling right under the devil, guys. Aha! Okay. There was a lot of energy in the past with the Divine Feminine where they were like, all right, well, whatever. If my Divine Masculine isn't coming forward, then I'm just going to go off and do whatever I want to do and find someone that's going to give me what I want. Which was the devil energy. Which very much was devil energy, right? But now that's being released. And so all of these other opportunities that don't serve you, they're being released too. It's like you don't even want to try with that anymore. You would much rather stand here. In the Five of Pentacles in reverse with the Six of Wands. In your victory. In your personal power. In your self-worth. And you know that the only person that really... That, that, that's meant for you... Okay. The only person that's really going to give you exactly what you desire in life is the person that's meant for you. And that's who... Say it with me now. Your divine twin flame. Hello. <laughs> awesome. Moving forward. We've got Seven of Swords. This is upright. With, ah, the Three of Swords in reverse. Okay, what's going on here? Seven of Swords with the Three of Swords in reverse. Give me a second, guys. My mind's a little blank on this one. Because it's interesting. There could be some deceptive behavior here. 
divine feminine. Um, you really could just be secretive. I do see you releasing Three of Swords energy and heartbreak. Okay, uh, okay. So you're releasing this Three of Swords energy, um, but I guess you're kind of doing it in a sneaky way. You're not really... Out, you're not really open about it. You're not really outwardly making any sort of taking any sort of action, making any sort of statements that would that would allow the people around you to know that you're actively releasing this energy, which is weird. That is a little weird, but at the same time, that's it's really not a bad thing. You could also be suffering in silence. You really could. So for some divine feminines that are still dealing with these third party energies. Oh, okay. Well, you could be suffering in silence when it comes to um, handling these, this energy, this heartbreak, but there could be some divine feminines. <laughs> there could be some divine feminines that got caught up in a, in a bit of a love triangle here. And now you're trying to find a way out of it. Because you realize it's not giving you what you want with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles both in reverse. So now you're trying to be a little bit sneaky and covert <laughs> and trying to get out of it. And it's okay. I mean, it's a lesson learned. I mean, the Divine Masculine had to go through that or probably still is going through that, right? Um, and as the pendulum swings, often we'll find ourselves in similar situations, you know? So, hey, it's okay. I'm not really picking up any really bad energy with this. It's more of a hassle than anything else, to be honest. <clears throat> okay, finally, for the Divine Feminine, we have, ooh, we've got the King of Wands with, ooh, damn, the King of Swords. So, cool. Divine Masculine energy is coming through here. This is Masculine energy coming through in the Divine Feminine. Um, this could also represent your Divine Masculine, but, um, on the divine feminine side, you do have masculine energy coming forward within you. And I do see these two working in tandem, the King of Swords and the King of Wands. The King of Wands is like your passion, is your drive, is you um, being assertive on your mission. And the King of Swords is here helping you stay logical, <laughs> sorry, logical about everything. Yeah, keeping everything in check, keeping making sure everything stays on the up and up, making sure the King of Wands stays. <laughs> <laughs> making sure the King of Wands stays on the up and up, right? Because we don't want the King of Wands energy to get twisted. We don't want the King of Swords energy to get twisted either. But it's more important to keep the passion and desire and the drive, the, 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 the energy that's moving us forward to stay grounded and on the up and up and up. And then from there, the extension of that energy, which would be the King of Swords in this situation, is making sure everything else around it is staying in line and everything is um, copacetic, I want to say. So that's very good. The Divine Feminine is very driven right now. Very driven. Very passionate. Very understanding, too. Um, diplomacy. This is also looking at your Divine Masculine from this point of view. Understanding that the Divine Masculine is going through things that, you know, the Divine Feminine has already been through for the most part. Because the Divine Masculine is starting on their awakening process now or is going deeper into it, right? So this is really a representation of the Divine Feminine saying, yeah, okay, I get it. I understand what you're going through, and I'm here for you. Whenever you need me, I'm here. I can't step in and solve all your problems for you, but I, I can definitely be energetic support. So let's get into the Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine's got the Ten of Cups in reverse so far. Um, I'm picking up an energy of... Feeling like you've lost this, realizing that you really do have this opportunity with your Divine Feminine, but you feel like you've lost it. And you haven't really, but you're going to have to do some work to get yourself back up there. We've got mirroring already. We've got the Page of Cups in reverse, but the Page of Cups was upright, is upright for the Divine Feminine here. Um, oh, you know what? Yeah, let me do that. Yeah. So we've got the Page of Cups in reverse, and we've got the Magician in reverse. We also have the Two of Wands in reverse. Divine Masculine, you're feeling pretty stuck. You're feeling pretty, pretty stuck. You are... <clears throat> I, I'm not... I don't want to say it this way, but this is how I heard it, so I'm going to say it. 
you're still kind of refusing to make a decision. But the reason why I didn't want to say it this way is because you feel stuck. You feel like you can't make a decision because of what you manifested so far, what you've, what you, where you find yourself in. The magician in reverse, you're realizing that what you have manifested here is really ultimately not what you wanted. So now with the two of wands in reverse, you feel like you made the wrong decision. With the page of cups in reverse you and the ten of cups in reverse, you want to come forward. You want to offer your divine feminine something. But you feel like you can't. You still feel like you're blocked. Ult ultimate fulfillment is here, divine masculine. Okay, the ten of cups, even though the ten of cups is reversed, it's still here. And you're aware of it now. But you just don't know how to get to it. You don't know how to manifest it. You don't know what decision to make with the two of wands in reverse. Okay, this is, a, this is just a hell of a lot of blockage. And we've got the devil up here with the divine feminine's energy. So honestly, it's all an illusion. It really is just an illusion, divine masculine, okay? Ultimately, you'll be able to figure this out, I promise you. Let's get into your storyline. We've got the Page of Wands in reverse, okay, with the Ace of Wands upright, though. Okay, more mirroring, guys. Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands. Um, now, for the Divine Masculine, you are inspired. You get it, okay? That's what the Ace of Wands is saying. But what the Page of Wands is saying is that you just don't know how to send a message. You want to send a message. You want to say something. You want to come forward passionately. But you don't know. You have no idea what to say. You really have no idea what to say. But thankfully, you've got this wand of inspiration. You're like ready to go. Or at least you want to be ready to go. No, you are ready to go. Don't, don't, don't fool yourself. You're ready to go to buy masculine. You just don't know what to say. And that's okay. You'll figure it out. We've got, the, wow, more mirroring, nine of swords. Yeah, and that makes sense. And because this is falling under the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles in reverse, you're picking up some energies of the divine feminine potentially like communicating with others and you're up in your head about it. We've got the four of cups. All right, so Nine of Swords and the Four of Cups. You took something for granted. You took your Divine Feminine for granted for a while. Um, and especially, you know, this is falling under the Devil for the Divine Feminine and the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So ultimately, you're seeing that in taking her for granted, now she could be gone and you're all up in your head about it. You're having nightmares about it. You're stressed out. You're anxious. Um, don't worry. I mean, I'm not trying to tell you not that to, that you can't that you don't have to do some work to get over, to 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 get this back. But at the same time, it's not like you really lost it as much as you think. What's also coming through with the Four of Cups here, do you see how there's this cup floating around around this woman's head? The universe is offering you an idea. But you're still so focused on that Three of Cups. The Three of Cups energy. And look how, look how ornately different that one cup, that Ace of Cups behind her is floating by. Look at how pretty that cup is. And then look at the three cups and below. I mean, they're, yeah, they're golden, but they're nowhere near as ornate or decorated as that Ace of Cups behind her, right? And I really feel like Divine Masculine, because you are in this Nine of Swords energy, you're looking down at that cup, at those three cups saying, what did I ever see in that? How could I ever be, ooh, how could I ever be worthy enough to take that Ace of Cups that's, stand, that's floating behind me, that's still being offered to me, that is still available for me? Oh, that kind of makes me want to cry. You, kind of, you might feel like that, Divine Masculine. You might feel like you want to cry. 
And let me tell you, it's okay to cry. Trust me. I love a good cry. <laughs> I love a good cry. Because I tend to feel better afterwards. You don't have to stress out about this, Divine Masculine. Okay, let me move forward. We've got... Oh, wow! I was just talking about this Ace of Cups. <laughs> hey! What is the Ace of Cups coupled with? The Two of Pentacles. Okay, you're feeling a little imbalanced. You have got all this love. You want to start, you want a fr brand new romantic start with your divine feminine. But you're, you feel like you're juggling too much or you feel imbalanced. You don't know how to go about this. You feel like you can't, you can't pull it together enough to offer this cup. You are being way too hard on yourself, divine masculine. Way too hard. At some point, you're just going to have to bite the bullet and just come forward. You don't have to have a perfect script. You don't have to have every single piece of the puzzle figured out before you approach your Divine Feminine. Because honestly, even in approaching her, that doesn't necessarily mean that everything is just going to explode into the Ten of Cups right then and there. Uh, it's possible. Anything's possible. But practically speaking, like, all that really needs to happen right now is this communication, is, is, is the, with the Ace of Wands. It's the, just, just start talking to each other, you know? It doesn't have to go from zero to 60 in two seconds, you know? You can... Anyway, with the Ace of Cups and the Two of Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Cups is upright, so this offer is here. But with the Two of Pentacles in reverse, you don't feel balanced enough to either give it or accept it. What through, through, and what I need to say is you just you're being too hard on yourself. Okay. Finally, we've got the world in reverse. No, not the world. The wheel. I'm sorry. The wheel in reverse with <laughs> more mirroring the page of swords in reverse. There is a blockage to a cycle ending, Divine Masculine. Um, because you're up in your head. You, you don't like the fact that the Divine Feminine has stopped watching you. And you're not quite understanding the fact that that cycle needed to come to an end. And it's kind of throwing you for a loop. And now as a result, you're getting into this, eight, uh, this Page of Swords energy and trying to, in like, kind of spying, energetic spying, stalking on social media, something like that. Just and, it, and, 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 and when I say stalking, I don't really mean like stalking, stalking. I'm just talking about, um, you know, trying to figure out what she's doing or he's doing through social media. And I'm going to be honest, many of us aren't really on social media anymore. It's a waste of time, to be honest. Um, and it's not an accurate, accurate representation of our lives for any of us. So Divine Masculine, aha, here's the other thing about the wheel in reverse with the page of swords in reverse. What's blocking this cycle from ending is you not communicating. Feeling like you can't communicate. And the universe is saying that is unfair to yourself. I mean, think about the times where you were kind of in communication or you, were, you weren't necessarily in separation with your divine feminine and things would pop off and you would fight, but then she would come, she would come back. And when, she says, uh, when I say she, I mean the energy, not the gender, but she would come back and try to talk things out and it would be okay and then it would get destroyed again or you would fight again or whatever. And then eventually you just went into separation and now communication has been cut off. Why, my question to you is, why is it so wrong of you to, like, a, approach the situation and be like, hey, can we talk? Why, why are you not allowed to do that, Divine Masculine? Right? Like, this is why you're being unfair to yourself. This is why you're being too hard on yourself. Because you can't, you, your Divine Feminine wants to talk to you anyway, if you guys are not in communication. And now if you are, like, say if you're in union, um... 
and it's not like you haven't been communicating, but you haven't been communicating about something specific that you both have been wanting to talk about for some time. But for some reason, Divine Masculine, you feel like you can't do it. Like you're not allowed, like you're not worthy enough for something like that. And that's not the case. Everybody makes mistakes. We're all human right now. And I say, I say right now for a reason, because ultimately we're human in this moment, but we're so much more than that. Right? But yeah, there's a lot of indecision around you, Divine Masculine. You have to make a decision. You've got the two of pentacles in reverse and you've got the two of wands in reverse. Oh, okay. Well, something else just came through with the ace of cups and the two of pentacles. For some of you, divine masculine, you are holding this ace of cups and you're not juggling anymore. You're deciding not to juggle anymore. But you're still indecisive about it because you just don't know how to come forward or what decision to make or which direction to go in to get to, to, to do something with this Ace of Cups, right? Okay. Yeah, we're definitely ending with the Whispers of Love deck today, but let's move on to the Animal Spirit spread, yeah? Definitely ending with the Whispers of Love. Okay. Oh, Divine Masculine, you're being way too hard on yourself. You're, a f oh gosh. You know you have this Ten of Cups energy, this Ten of Cups, it's here for you. But you don't know how to manifest it anymore. It's like you can't trust the people around you. You can't trust your ego. You don't even really feel like you can trust your intuition because it's so new to you. That's also what the Page of Cups is representing here in reverse. You're very new to, to, to trusting your intuition. So you don't, you don't believe that you can really trust the messages that are coming through. And that's okay. I mean, I, I understand that. I've been there. But just keep following the guidance that comes through. Okay? All right, cool. So, one card for the Divine Masculine Energies, please. There it is. Raccoon in reverse. One card for the Divine Feminine Energies, please. Tiger in reverse. Okay. Uh, one card for the, the Shadow Dynamic. We have Unicorn. Okay, everything's in reverse, so I just must have the deck upside down. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, and then um, finally, one card for the uh, Illuminated Dynamic. Please, Spirit. Here we go. Dragon. Okay, well, that one didn't come out in reverse. But I'm not really going to read the reversals for this. There's that interference again. Mm -mm -mm. Be careful, guys. Let's um really do some... Make sure you do some energetic project protection. Because... Because bitches be trying to interfere. <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. Gotta get the book. Okay. Here we go. So, for the Divine Masculine, we've got Raccoon. Where are you, Raccoon? That's just my roommate. Here we go. Raccoon. Talented. Shadowy. In hiding. Raccoon energy is at play within all artists, to greater or lesser degrees. At best, it indicates talent, tenacity, and skillfulness with a particular musical instrument or creative tool. Its shadow side points to an unresolved issue around self-image and success. Sometimes using a stage name or wearing a, quote, mask, works in an artist's favor. Other times, it limits creativity. Am I who my audience thinks I am? What if I am, already, what if I am ready to grow into something more? Raccoon energy won't let us off the hook until, it's, until this creative ego fear is resolved. Okay. When in balance, uh, Raccoon is a generous friend and an exceptional artist. When out of balance, Raccoon is competitive and a starving artist. To bring into balance, one must make new work. So, Divine Masculine, you really are in the midst of releasing this false mask, okay? Because you've come to the realization that you have everything you want with the Ten of Cups. You have all the emotional fulfillment you could have ever desired. Like, more than you ever thought you wanted. 
but currently in your life, it's blocked. Why? Because you've been wearing a mask. And there have been things, and you know, you've, you've done things here with the, with the magician in reverse. You've done things that were super manipulative. Egoic. On the other hand, you have um, manifested a life around you, but you've come to realize that that life is not anywhere near as fulfilling as this Ten of Cups that you now have come to realize you have the opportunity to achieve, right? So you're in the process of releasing that mask of, I literally just heard taking the blinders off <laughs> and seeing the truth around you. Yeah? Okay. Hey, look, no worries. Honestly, look, Divine Masculine, if you're freaking out because you feel like you've made all these wrong choices, you didn't. Everything happens for a reason, okay? Ultimately, everything that you, everything that you manifested here with the magician helped you define what it is you truly want. You may feel blocked from actually getting what it is what you truly want at this moment. But honestly, be grateful for the fact that you now have a better idea of what you want. You now realize that, that number one, you are powerful enough to manifest what you have right now, okay? Number two, you are still powerful enough to manifest something different, Okay? I really feel like this devil, the devil that's up here for the Divine Feminine in reverse, is a release on both sides. As the Divine Feminine releases the devil energy, so does the Divine Masculine release the devil energy in his and her own time, right? We're mirrors, guys. We mirror each other. Even though we don't experience things the same way or whatever, we still experience similar things. Okay. Rant over. <laughs> For the Divine Feminine, we've got Tiger. Boop. Tiger. Whoa, that was cool. <laughs> Lunar Force. Ease in darkness. Feminine energy. The tiger hunts at night, at one with the silence, fearing nothing. This card reminds us to take in the wild darkness, to allow the lunar forces to soothe and heal our spirits. Sensuality, receptivity, and devotion are all heightened in the midnight hour, and the tiger takes advantage of these boons. Spend some time in silence this evening, drinking in the potent calm. There is nothing to fear in the stillness except the waking of your own power. When in balance, tiger is passionate, strong, and sensual. When out of balance, tiger is overstimulated. To bring into balance, uh, one can practice trataka or, or candle gazing. Yeah. So for the Divine Feminine, I'm really picking up, pay attention to the moon cycles. Well, pay greater attention. Learn about how they could really be useful for you. Okay? Because as feminine energies, um, especially if you're, a, if you're physically a woman, which many of most, if not all, of, of us on this channel and doing readings and whatnot, most of the Divine Feminine Collective are female in gender. <clears throat> so you definitely get, you know, cycles and the moon cycles and all that. But me being a feminine energy in a male body, I really understand the... I've come to understand the moon cycles much, much more. They're very powerful. So I'm really getting... I'm really picking up that... Um, if you haven't already done some research on it, do so. Start doing so. Yeah? Excellent. For the shadow dynamic, we got unicorn. Ooh, I love unicorns. They're my favorite. They're my favorite. Well, I also, I feel like I'm a unicorn a lot of the time. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Unicorn. This is the shadow dynamic, okay? So this is actually, this is what's going on underneath the surface. Unicorn, reconnecting to higher wisdom or divinity. It's difficult to see, hear, or think of a unicorn without immediately questioning if it's real. Did they ever exist? Perhaps long, long ago? The mind answers, maybe, or it could be, or no way. This very 
contemplation explains our relationship with divinity and encapsulates our wavering belief in the unicorn. We wonder what divinity is. We wonder where our intuition comes from and if we can really trust it. We think about a higher power and our mind hesitates between yes, no, and maybe. Is it male or female? Does it have a name? Is it just a feeling? The unicorn card appears and, quote, wakes us up to curiosity about the higher self and the divine. It is a card of questioning, exploring, and contemplating. Uh, and contemplating, excuse me, the inexplicable. The mind's eye knows there is something beyond our day-to-day -day lives, a deeper dimension to our experiences. The mind's eye reaches and reaches and reaches out to grasp something more. You are the unicorn, and you have begun your quest for the answers. So this is definitely resonating with the message that came through for the Divine Masculine with the Page of Cups in reverse here. You're really starting to get in tune with your intuition. You may have been already in the past, but now you're really starting to consciously ground it into your existence and use it from a conscious standpoint. Yeah? The unicorn and the sixth chakra. It's no surprise the subtle essence of the unicorn card resides at the third eye, the exact place from which the unicorn's horns extend. The unicorn's horn extends, excuse me. This center is called the Ajna chakra, or command center. The ancient yogis believed it to be responsible for our intellect, intuition, and, uh, and deepest wisdom. Some say our two eyes see the past and the present, while this third eye peers into the future. I just realized that we got two spirit cards for um, the overall energy. So for the, the shadow dynamic, we got unicorn. And for the illuminated dynamic, we got dragon. That's pretty badass, you guys. There is a lot of spiritual awakening happening. Spiritual acceptance, I want to say. Like accepting of ourselves as spiritual beings on a much deeper level. That's fantastic, guys. All right, Illuminated Dynamic is Dragon. Seeing one's most true self, balancing the ego. Hello! The dragon sees everything. Its essence has been with us since before our first breath and will be there at our last. It watches us navigate the external world as well as our inner world. When dragon energy is awakened, we are courageous, uh, visionary, and can easily drop into witty, uh, into witness consciousness. It is almost as if we are traveling with a great friend inside of ourselves. When we look in the mirror deep into our eyes, we may even get a, we may even glimpse the quote self behind the quote self, the one who is watching us. This is the power of the dragon, breathing transformative fire into every cell of our bodies. Witnessing this omnipotent energy, even for a brief moment helps us surrender and let go. We let the dragon guide us. We hop on its back for a ride. And as we tra traverse even the most difficult terrain, the dragon's eye see beauty everywhere. It is said that if a yogi does not see beauty in the world, their, their agni is dim. Agni is described as inner fire or sacred intelligence. May even, I'm sorry, may even just the mention of the dragon stir the embers of intelligence within you. The, uh, the dragon and the third chakra. The subtle energy of the dragon lives at the navel center in the Manipura chakra. Manipura translates to, quote, the city of hidden gems, and behind its gates burn the fire of our transformation and digestion. The sages believe health of the fire at the navel center is what governs our ability to clearly, quote, see both the inner and outer dimensions. Now, I want to point something real cool out to you guys. Do you remember in the beginning of the reading when I said there were a ton of dragonflies flying around outside? Boop! <laughs> now, I was wondering if the dragonfly was going to come out with the animal spirits. Turns out the dragon itself came out. That is so bad ass, y'all. <laughs> okay, finally, um, we're gonna get some messages from the Whispers of Love. Um, I, I'm seeing already that there are three of them. So I'm just gonna let them flow. I'm gonna give this three shuffles. Two. And 
three. Boop. All right. So, Whispers of Love. Three messages, Spirit. One, spend some quality time together. Two, be authentic to who you are. Finally, the third one is here. Oh, take a chance on love. Okay, there are four. I'm going to leave the fourth one for last. Let's talk about the first three. Spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are significant, in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. So, Divine Masculine, most of these messages from the Whispers of Love are for you. Um, the advice here is to start thinking of ways that you can spend quality time with your Divine Feminine. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It doesn't have to be anything major. It doesn't have to be a, a ridiculously romantic date or anything like any shit like that. Just spend some time with her. Talk to her. You know? Um, there was something else I wanted to say. What was it? Oh, don't worry about... Just, just stop. You don't have to worry about how things are going to happen. Okay. Instead, instead of focusing on what could go wrong or what you need, how you need to present yourself or if you, there's something specific you need to say, instead of focusing on that, just focus on spending some quality time together and enjoying some time together. Right. You know, if you want to spend some time as friends first so that you guys can get comfortable with each other again. You know what I mean? And like I, like I said before, it doesn't have to be some big elaborate thing. Okay, next we have be authentic to who you are. You are asked to, to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. Hello, we've got that. And then we had that message come through with Raccoon for the Divine Masculine. Right? Stop wearing this mask. It's not, it's not helping you, it's hurting you. Right? Then we have take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives change forever. Our lives are changed, excuse me, forever. And so this is a message for the divine feminine too. For those that have been projecting um, energetic napalm, I guess. You know, pushing your divine masculine in a way um, energetically because you've come to the conclusion or you feel like it's just never gonna work he or she is never going to change, blah, blah, blah. Take a chance. Try something new. Believe something different. Finally, we have <laughs> like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. So, okay, yeah, this is a message for both sides. Divine Masculine, you need to love yourself enough to know that you are worthy. You are, in fact, worthy of this connection. Divine Feminine, you need to love yourself enough to know that people can change. You've changed, haven't you? You are, in fact, worthy, Divine Feminine, of someone changing for the better. Not just for you. We're not asking anybody to, to, to change for your sake. We're asking them to change. We're asking people to change for their own sake. And from there, they can step into their true power and be who they truly are, and cut you and divine partners will come together. Yeah? <clears throat> there it is, guys. Okay. Everything's going well. Everything's going very, very well, guys. It's all happening. So don't worry. All right? I love you all so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for joining me. And I look forward to our next conversation next week. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.